Okay, so let's talk about this because I came across some numbers that I thought were very interesting in just looking at where Marcus Mariota is, okay? What if I told you that last year, because I know one of the narratives has been, well, the offensive line doesn't pass block well enough to, to throw the football around, okay? But the pass but the pass protection is better this year than it was last year. They were 31st in the NFL in pass protection this year. They're in the top 15 this year. Let me give you a stat. Again, not a motion, stat. What if I told you that last year, Matt Ryan had 9% of his throws that were targeted for 20 yards or more? Nine of his patent, or sorry, 9% of his pass attempts were in the 20 plus or more range. Okay, makes sense, right? Throw the football pretty decent amount, right? 50 something passes and all this, that, and the other, right? Makes sense, right? What do you think Marcus Mariota's percentage is here? Yeah, you know, they don't throw it very much. Can't be real high. What if I told you that this year they are 16.5% pass attempts over 20 yards? They've almost doubled the percentage of throws over 20 yards. Okay? Here's the problem, though. Right now, Marcus, on throws of 20 yards or more, is ready? 10 for 38. 26.3% completion. He has two touchdowns, four interceptions. His passer rating on passes of 20 yards or more is 51.3. His passer rating on medium throws, 10 to 19 yards. Again, watch me. Ready? Short, quick route, one read, throw. Short, quick route, one read, throw. 10 to 19 yards. 88.4% 88.4% or 88.4 passer rating. 64.1% completion percentage, three touchdowns, two picks. Under 10 yards, 76.2% completion percentage. Hell, you should be that high, right? So again, you start taking Marcus Mariota out of what he does well. Oh, you want more? Cool. That's good. We've got it here, okay? Marcus Mariota right now. When you talk about on-target throws, okay, one of the metrics you look at, on-target throws, on-target pass attempts, this does not include spikes or throwaways, okay? Mariota right now is 29th in the NFL in on-target throws. He's at 71.3% on-target throws. That ties him, by the way, with, ready, Joe Flacco. Oh, for craps and giggles, do you know who has the lowest on-target rate percentage in the NFL as a quarterback? Say Justin Fields. Anyway, 62%. But anyway, I know. That's why they're three and seven, right? I mean, but anyway, forget. So anyway, so he's one of the worst quarterbacks as far as on-target throws. And part of why Pitts has not had some of the... You know, Kyle Pitts has 30% of his uh, throws to him have been off-target. No player in the NFL has a higher off-target percentage rate of throws to him than Kyle Pitts. 30% of the throws to Kyle Pitts this year are considered off-target. Let me give you another one, okay? Let me give you one more. Poor throw percentage, okay? These are considered to be bad throws. Again, they do not count throwaways or spiking the football, right? These are what are considered to be poor or bad throws, okay? Mariota has the fifth highest percentage of poor or bad throws in the NFL. He's at 20.6%. Here are the guys, here are the all-stars that have a higher percentage of poor or bad throws. Ready? Zach Wilson is number one in the NFL at 22.4%. Carson Wentz is number two. At 21.2%. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's benched and not playing anymore. Davis Mills for the Texans, 21% in his second year. And then Cooper Rush, who was the quarterback for the Cowboys here early on, 20.9%. Then, by the way, the guys right after Dak Pre- or, or after Mariota, Dak Prescott's at 20.5. Flacco's number seven. Fields is eight. Carr is nine. Baker Mayfield is 10. Not exactly a who's who of all-star quarterbacks, right? So 
What do we talk about all the time? You know, everybody keeps having this discussion about play Ritter, this, that, that, and the other, and all that kind of stuff. The coach is not going to do that. He's not going to play Ritter until they're out of the playoff discussion. So in the meantime, until we get knocked out of the playoffs, what they better figure out is how do you keep him in his comfort zone? Look from a game perspective, 20 attempts or less, three and one, 21 attempts or more, one and five. That doesn't glare like this at you. His on-target percentage, his inability to throw the football downfield. I know all the Mariota fans don't want to hear these numbers. And again, I completely understand what coach is going to tell you. They're going to play Mariota because they don't feel that uh, um, they don't feel that uh, Desmond Ritter is ready to take over the reins, and they feel like that Marcus gives them the best chance to win week in, week out. Okay, I'll buy that. I'll, I'll stay with you on that. That's your head coach who's done a lot of good things this year, who's gotten this team further than what most people expected, has done a good job. But what I won't accept is you can't keep playing to his limitations. You have to put him in spots that make him successful. Short, quick route, one read, throw. Make it easy. Don't think. Drop, throw, go. No deep path. Don't, don't try to keep stretching it downfield. Don't try to do, don't throw it 30 times a game. Don't throw it 33 times a game. Keep him in his comfort zone. That's where I get frustrated is when we see on the second play of a game, throw it a mile downfield. Overtime, throw it a mile downfield. That's where I get frustrated about what are we doing out here? So none of the metrics line up with Mariota telling you that he's been accurate or all that good this year. But I understand the veteran leadership, the pre-snap stuff. I get all that. And that's what we're talking about. But if you're going to keep playing him, keep him. It's like how you raise veal. You take that little cow calf and you shrink them into a little box and you don't let them move. Right? That's Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota needs to be treated as if you're raising veal. In a small box, narrow movement, can't go anywhere. I want to remind you that uh, Locked On, uh, we thank you for making Hit and Hard with John Tucker your first listener today, but Locked On Sports today needs to be your second listen. Look, biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, take of the day, right? Locked On Sports today, check out that podcast, of course, free and available YouTube, Odyssey, Spotify, all your favorite platforms, check them out today. And also want to talk about my friends over at Built Bar. Built.com is the place to go. Look, everybody's looking for the same thing, right? We're headed to holiday season, okay? You know you're going to get fat and sassy and load up, but you also want those low-carb, low-sugar, high-protein, low-cal snacks, right? Built.com is the place to go. They have everything that you need. You want something that's got a little different taste and texture? Try the protein-infused marshmallow puffs, right? They're always coming out with new flavors, always new things available at Built.com. So here's what I want you to do. Head to Built.com today. Check out their wide menu and extensive list of all the different products that they have. Check out all the protein bars, marshmallow puffs. Check it all out and put that order together. And when you do, you get to check out. I want you to use the promo code LOCKEDON15. L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, the number one, the number five, LOCKEDON15. And you get 15% off your order at Built.com simply by using the promo code Locked on 15 at checkout. Check out all the flavors. Check out all the different things they have available. Load yourself up and get that order together and save 15% by going with Locked on 15 at checkout. Built.com. Check them out today. 